everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy Red Carpet. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Um, may you I, this, this is really nice. Thank you so much. I'm like a, a suit person because I don't have to wear I work from home. I don't yeah. need to dress up. <laughs> Neither do I. See me. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. But it's amazing. Who is it? Do we it's, know who uh, it is? Yeah, it's J. Crew, and um, I like navy, so that's why I'm wearing it. If I could have my way, everything would be blue. Yeah. It would be a blue carpet. It's kind of yes. a go-to. You yeah. were going to introduce this wonderful person next to you, and I cut you off. <laughs> this is How my rude. husband. Hello. Hey, I'm Rob. pleasure to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, so here we are. Daytime Emmy nominee. Yeah. <laughs> Some people say that they, you know, they had a sense that they would. Some people are always surprised. They don't know if they have the material. What was your reaction to finding out that you were a daytime Emmy nominee this year? Um, what was my reaction? I was I was really happy. Of course, I wanted to be nominated. Anytime you sort of like put your hat in the ring, mm -hmm. you're saying, hey, I want to play the game. So, uh, so when they call and tell you that you're getting to play, it's super exciting and fun. And um, this one especially uh, feels good because it's kind of the button on what's been a really wonderful chapter in my life. And uh, this is a great way to sort of usher it on its way. Normally, and I'm looking at you so you know trouble is a coming. Yes. Normally, if anyway, it's this has been lovely. <laughs> but <laughs> normally, if it's a single interview, I ask the person, eh, blah, 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 do this. In 15 seconds or less, I'm just curious to see do you know all of the things that Kevin has gone through in the last year? In 15 seconds or less, let's see how well you do. Oh, God. Uh, you lost a wife. Uh, you eulogized her, but she wasn't dead. Then you moved to Portland. But Victor had some kind of something on you, and then he, and then you left keeper. and took goodbye to Delia, and you took goodbye to Judith, your mom. How about something that? Something like that. He's I mean, a keeper. In some, yeah. yeah. That's a dip. Well, he's also a storyteller by trade. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, I mean, that was pretty much spot on. Yeah. The yeah. thing that was missing was the casket opening up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you for omitting that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The faint heard around the world. I was like, I'm gonna not submit that scene. I'll submit that episode, but I not that scene. I was waiting for it. Uh, I was like, here. Oh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. You never know what's gonna happen at the daytime. I guess. Movie. Yeah. Are the, is the red carpet any different for you now than it was, say, your first red carpet? Do you still get excited? You know, do you still worry about what you're wearing? For sure, I still worried about what I was wearing. We did masks together. That was fun. Um, it's 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 different, I guess. Um, I guess I uh, I know the drill a little more, so it's not as um, harrowing, I guess. It was a little like overwhelming in the beginning, and a lot longer. I remember back when it was in New York, and I like talking to people who were, you know, of a certain age, yeah. that they remember the days of, yeah. of Radio City. That's where I won my Emmy. That was the last year, I think, that it was at Radio City. But it was like, you know, it was like a quarter mile long I'm press sure. line. It was crazy. Sure. Across... Uh, the high, I mean, press the avenue. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yes. yeah, it was kind of fun. I, mean, yeah. I feel bad for, I feel bad for the kids today who don't remember. Oh God, I've officially become an old person. I guess. But it's fine. But this is great. Yeah, and so it's, um, I, but yeah, I think I was, I was still a little nervous and excited. So it's the same, it's the same, same thing, different day. You know. I have been to varying degrees of success. Last year I started asking the people I interview to give me a question for the next person. We never know who it's gonna be. Um, they were crude, they were funny, they were serious. We had someone ask, you know, how do we stop the war in Syria? The question for you is from the lovely and talented John McCook. Okay. Who would like to know. Oh wait, he, he said something, what was he saying about the Staten Island Ferry? He said the very first daytime Emmys were on the Staten Island Ferry. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's sort of, even though I wasn't there, that's sort of full circle know. for me because that's well, where I mean, I grew it was up. 45 years ago. I know, but <laughs> that's, but like that, that, I've been on that boat hundreds of times. That's where I grew up. I mean, I can't imagine that. Oh, FYI, uh, how excited are we about uh, the NCAA men's oh, basketball yeah. champion? Two years in a row. Two, no, two out of three. They didn't. They won last year. No. No, it was the year before. They won two, the year before. Yeah. Yes, they okay. did. <laughs> two out of three, and you know yeah. we're talking about dynasties. Yeah, no, it's great. Random stream of thought because it's all that airs in the Philadelphia market. So I'm like. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was super exciting to watch the game, and my dad. I think my dad was more excited than me, which was charming to 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 watch. I get completely stream of consciousness. Like the thing would be, you know, the last time I talked to you was in a bathroom in Atlantic City. Uh, I was interviewing one of your co-stars, and he needed to. Everyone was bothering him, so we had to go into the only place that the screaming fans could go. Who was it? 
Michael. Of course. Um, so we were hanging out in the men's room in a casino in Atlantic City. I mean, it seems... <laughs> the point of that is there is a segue. Okay. The lovely and talented John McCook oh, yes, yes. wants to know, how many spare rolls of toilet paper are there in your bathroom? Um, in the bathroom? Just like one or two. But um, this one has like a fear, uh -oh. a fear of running out of toilet paper, and so anytime they're... I have a southern mother. This is like, and he's one of he's a he's one of five children. Yeah. So I imagine that's probably something that happened in your house. Yes. Uh -oh. um, so every time there's a grocery list, there's always toilet paper on that <laughs> list. So I'm always like, babe, there is a hundred rolls of toilet paper in the garage, yeah. and he's. I think it just has a, you know, if some people have a fear of missing out, he's a fear of running out. Oh. In, in the event of the apocalypse, come to our house for he's toilet paper. Have, for, yeah. Or neighbors that you may or may not have a, a frenemy relationship with. Just <laughs> You want a clean tush? Come to our house. Yeah. There you go. So um, now that you've been asked a question by someone, mm -hmm. you get to return the favor. If you need to put your heads together to come well, up with one, but feel free, what is it going to be? Um, do you think I can steal a question? I asked, uh, I have a friend who's a journalist who told me that who told me a question that he asks, so I'm going to steal his. That's fine. Um, did you grow up rich or poor? Uh, it's an interesting... See, we go from talking about toilet paper to these really insightful no, because yeah. he's, uh, 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 What he said about it, and it was uh, my friend Jess Cagle, so I uh, give credit for stealing. Um, he said that it always elicits a, um, a sort of vulnerable, truthful um, human answer that's not about what you're wearing or and so um, I thought that was and it and he said it's also a disarming thing that gets people to sort of open up a bit so I thought that was uh, that stayed with me and when you asked it there it was I can't wait right to see who it's gonna be yeah I mean it's better than me having to ask the head of the Academy if their feet smell yeah. yeah, who's yeah. going to say, oh, yeah, my feet yeah. stink. <laughs> Just the worst. Yeah. Thank um, you for coming back. Pleasure. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Miss nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Bye, Kat. Bye. See you guys. Hey everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy Red Carpet. 